Well, before I was uh, here at AUBG, uh, I was in the military, I was in the Army. And I served in the Army for a little over nine and a half years. So uh, my age difference and everything, I was away in the military and then uh, returned to university. So that's, that's how I came to uh, be here. I was looking for different universities and uh, AUBG uh, happened to be the one that I chose. So it's, it's not a traditional ring for my job, but uh, my job in the Army is cavalry, so this is kind of like our, we say insignia, so it's like our symbol uh, for my job. So it's cross sabers, obviously form kind of funny, but I have a, a motto from my first unit, and it's in Latin, uh, an emo et fide, which means courageous and faithful. And so uh, I've, I've had this ring on all of my military deployments to Afghanistan and traveling the world. So it's kind of like a piece of my military for me. So it's like the only piece I really keep now. Everything else is like in a box. My, my first two tattoos that I, that I had when I was in university the first time around. Uh, this is uh, Japanese lettering for Bulldog. Um, because in high school and college I was a mascot. Uh, I was a bulldog, so I got that, and I did Japanese because I used to do martial arts. Um, so I had that, and then over here, these are uh, Chinese uh, characters for a faithful servant. So it comes from like a verse in the Bible, so that's what I got at the time. And I got it because I'm always there for my buddies or people in general as best I can. And then I had it retranslated, so it still means what I thought it meant, so that's good on me, but... There's also another translation that can come out of it. So another word for faithful would be loyal. Okay. Another word for servant is also slave. So even though it means faithful servant, it could be translated as loyal slave. So that was interesting to find out years later. Um, uh, these are uh, Celtic. So they're uh, like uh, called infinity knots. So I like the idea of infinity. I guess you'd say, like, not really dying. I don't know how to explain it. But I got the... Yeah, like immortality a little bit. Yeah, so no end. So I like those. Um, then I have... Uh, this is my phoenix. So I really like the story of the phoenix. And uh, I think it's just a good life story, too. Like, you know, whenever you fail, you can always get back up. And, you know. Uh, I'm kind of... Uh, I'd like to be settled into my, uh, uh, whatever my future career, wherever that might take me. I, I hope that I find that still challenging and then I'll, uh, I hope to still be traveling around the world with my job. That's, that's one of my big things. Like I don't need to make a lot of money. I just like to make a little bit of a difference and be able to travel. So I'll still be, still be full of energy. I would say that, uh, you know, keep yourself challenged. Uh, put yourself in those situations that are going to uh, help you grow as a person. Uh, it's definitely never too late to do anything in life. I'm going back to school. Mm -hmm.